that everyone is disappointed, but the first is, is Daniel. Of course, uh, our job is to try to, to help, to be positive, to adapt ourselves uh, in the moment that uh, we are going to, uh, to play in our new stadium. But now we are still going to play a few games more. Uh, Liverpool and Cardiff, that is sure. Hope that can finish all the work in that moment and we can start to play in, in our new home. Uh, if not is possible, I think um, we are going to give our best to try to, um, on the end, to win games, to show good performance, uh, being positive. Of course, that will be another disappointment, but uh, I think we need to be all together. And my message last week was that message that uh, all together we need uh, that our fans understand that that is massive and huge project that will be forever uh, for them and for the club. And it is not possible for different things that happen that is not in our hands. Uh, the most important is to be positive. Of course, as I understand the, the, the problems about the ticket, the, the money and everything. And I feel sorry for, for them. And, and um, I want to say thank you and apologize. And we are going to try to reward them. Winning games is in the way that only we can act and can pay all the effort that they are uh, doing and they are going to do for the for the club. What have you been told about the match against Manchester City on the 28th of October? Where do you think that might be played? At the moment, at the moment I cannot say that we are not going to play this game on the, on the, in our new stadium. Um, and you know that I am so always, I am very transparent and, and, and always uh, honest with you to try to, to tell uh, and communicate in the way that uh, I hear or the club communicate to me and um, and that is the most important to be to be honest I don't know I don't know if you ask me today is it not possible to play in the new stadium of course uh, is to find the way to play in, 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 in Wembley because I think to play in another place Three, maybe three stadiums in, in one season will be too much. And maybe we need to adapt. If the day after the, the game of the NFL, uh, maybe it's not the best condition, uh, the pitch the best condition, but we need to, to make the effort and try to, to play on the end because maybe it's to find another, another date will be, will be difficult. But, you know, I am a person always positive that try to, rather to complain about the... the the thing that you cannot change is try to find solution, the best solution, to try to to help on the end, uh, to perform us in the best way and, and win games, because on the end our job is, is to win games. Is it going to be difficult to feel settled until you are in the new stadium? No, I am not going to put the excuse, uh, because uh, it, that is going to happen. The most important is to to take the responsibility, and we are responsible about about our our performance. Remember, one year ago, or more than one year ago, um, we were talking about the Wembley that uh, was a no nice place for us to perform and get uh, good result. But on the end, uh, I think we were uh, uh, the, the third uh, team uh, um, that got best result on the on the league after I think Manchester City and, and Arsenal, and. Um, you know, um, it's so important to be positive. In football, uh, more than in another uh, uh, business, uh, football is about faith, about belief, about uh, willingness. And the most, more, the most important, our responsibility is to be positive uh, if we play in one or another place. I'm going to move on from, from talking about the stadium, if I may. Um, what can you tell us about George Kevin and Dooku? In Kudu. Yeah, going on loan. Um, has, has there been any approaches this week? Yes, last season. No, but. Alderweireld and, and Ropes? No, I think, you know, um, they are all part of the of the squad and the club. And and then, uh, like I explained last week, every player has different goals, targets, or motivation. Um, 
and reality. And of course, uh, Shike is part of the of the group, but uh, like last season, uh, he was on loan in on Burnley, and maybe now uh, he's young and try to play more and maybe have will have the possibility to play and be guaranteed to play more than here. And uh, yes, uh, we are working. He's still open in Europe. Um, the, the the transfer the transfer window and still many things can happen of course I don't believe too much movement because uh, sure that we one thing is sure that we cannot sign but um, different um, individual thing can happen uh, in the next uh, few weeks we, we are open I am open and I told you that the some player is not happy because need to play or believe that can play more in another team or need to change uh, the environment or need new a uh, new challenge or new motivation. I told them that is why I can explain you. I am so open to try to find the solution. I want people that feel happy to be involved here every day, happy to be in the place that the manager, in that case, that is the boss, boss, <laughs> put, put you. And, and I think it's the only, the only way to success. Uh, if we are a 25 player, uh, 40, 50 staff, uh, fans, board, all together working for one objective is to perform and win games. That is why I, I repeat, I am so open to fix problem. I don't want anyone upset, not happy, uh, with different feeling that with a negative feeling here. It's so clear the rules, it's so clear my message. I promise that I'm going to fix if someone is not happy that to be here for the next five months until open again the, the transfer window. All the players that are going to be here need to feel that can be part of the, of the team, can help the team in any time that the manager will demand and, and fully commitment. I tried one time and it was perfect. And <laughs> no, 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 I promise. And, and, and he said, oh, fantastic. That is why you are the boss, said to me, Dele. I can try with two hands. But I think now it's, it's a press conference serious. Maybe on the end I, I will try and, and show how I can do. No, 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 please. No, no, please. No, no, please. We are in a, in a, in a very serious press conference and conversation. And, and I think it's better to keep in this in this uh, way. Uh, this week we've we've seen um, the news about Kevin De Bruyne. He's picked up an injury in training. Um, obviously, you had players that have come back from the World Cup. You have Belgians, you have English players, England players. How do you ensure that they don't pick up injuries? What, what are you doing in terms of? One hundred percent impossible. Maybe next to me is Jesus that is is uh, is more uh, is can give better better opinion because uh, he's uh, he's more uh, science no than than myself. But uh, I think that is impossible. And and then uh, I don't know what happened with him, but maybe sometimes it's, 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 it's unlucky action that can happen, some injury. Of course, it's a big risk. Of course, that is not, like I told you before, it's not the best. It's not the best thing uh, with not a um, good rest for the player, um, start again the season, and, and the demand of the today, the, the professional football is, is, is massive. But I, I don't know, it's, it's because... Uh, some reason or another reason happen and, and make um, that, that situation happen. Of course, it's, it's a big risk. Of course, that too much holidays for the player are not good and uh, not so much 
in this, is the same. It's not so good. And the balance is so difficult to find the, the balance. That is why for us it's so important. Like I, I told you, it's a massive challenge for every single coaching staff uh, that, like in that case, Manchester City or United or well, I think Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool are different. But Tottenham, um, City, United, I think uh, the team that had more players involved on the semi-final of the, the World Cup. I think it's, it's a massive challenge for us. It's a massive challenge. It's, it's to try to care, to look after, to, to not only about um, dates, if not about uh, feelings. Uh, it's, 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 it's not, it will be no easy for everyone, um, but it's about time if we took the right decision uh, to provide them some days of holidays, how we approach the training from everyone, that this will be a challenge, like I, I told you. Lucio, on that, on that topic, where are, where are you and Harry Kane? Obviously, you played against Newcastle, but fitness-wise, is he 80% fit, would you say, this week? For me, are, 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 all are fit. Um, we put in our mind that all are fit. You cannot tell some player you are not fit, and then you you are going to play with his player, no, with this player, because. Is he fully sharp? Is he fully matched? Yeah, for me, yes. For me, all the players today are fit to play and to start the game. Different thing if you are going to take the decision to put the, uh, Harry or, or or no another. Or I don't know. Uh, the most important is. is it's a very important job that all need to feel that can cope with the with the demand of the of the competition, and then of course it's up to us to stop because sometimes it's too much dream too much and they believe they can play two games uh, Saturday Sunday and every game but we need to stop that is our job to make decision, but I think the most important that they all feel that can cope with the with the demand of the competition and then it's up to us to say no. You are not going to play, or you are going to, to be on the bench, or maybe out of the squad. But the most important now is our football decision. And I am going to play with one or another player because I need to make decision because only I can play with 11. But we treat all like uh, if they are, they are fit. Of course, they need time. They need time to be in, in their best. But I think they are all enough to start to, to play. Uh, Saturday. You mentioned earlier that you, um, want a, you don't want anybody in your, in your squad upset or unhappy. Um, would you say you've got that at the moment, that everybody, all the players are happy? Yeah, I was so clear the first day of the pre-season with everyone that they start the first day. And then with all the players that arrive from the national team, individual conversation, collective conversation. And I told uh, what I believe I needed to tell. That is why when I arrive your question, it's so clear. I can't explain because I told them it's not a problem. I won't play it after four years because, you know, uh, after four years you know me, um, I know you, and uh, the player that in all that process know me for a long time. I think we need to start from zero and we need to start uh, thinking in player that can uh, fight for their place on the on the pitch, the player are going to be here need to be open to give uh, us or myself the opportunity to change if I was wrong, but if they were wrong too, for me to see the possibility or to see that they are going to change, because I am the boss again and. Uh, my demands are different than another manager, but on the end, uh, the club pay me for to, to make a decision, and that is so clear. Um, and of course, if we want to success and uh, step up and move on, and not only be a contender to maybe to be on next season on the on the top four, and uh, again to good good performance in Champions League or like this. We need the commitment from, from everyone. 
And the objective must be only one, is to perform as win, win games and be all together and accept the rules and accept the, the discipline and accept uh, all my decision because on the end, uh, I am who, who is going to take the decision. And having had those conversations, do you expect anyone to leave before the end of the month? Hey, maybe, maybe, yes. Maybe. We are going to see if some player uh, believes that they can uh, achieve their goals in, in another club. Maybe they are going to move. Some player maybe they are going. They wanted to move, but they don't have offer. Player that maybe receive an offer, but they don't want to move. <laughs> it's a plenty of situation that can happen in football. That don't then I am focused into work with them today. If tomorrow change the situation for everyone, we are going to adapt. But for me, um, I am seeing them, uh, that I, they're the players that are going to work until January. But if they change their mind, or they are working to try with their people uh, another opportunity, I am open. And then, of course, it's Daniel Levy the, who will take the last decision. Okay, finish with one question from Will, one from Ben. Michelle, uh, yes. Lots has been made about not dipping into the transfer market this summer, but does that give your players a confidence boost? And it shows that you believe in them that it's still the same squad. Um, sorry, if does it give your players a confidence boost that you believe in them that you haven't had to bring in players? Yeah, exceed. Yeah, um, yes, yes, agree. I was talking with everyone. And they asked me, oh, Rafa, what happened? This or that? Or you? No, no, that is the reality. I said, no, because I believe in you. Uh, if we can uh, add uh, quality, of course, that you can talk and the people can talk. They say, oh, come on, it's, it's not possible that you cannot find players that can uh, improve the, the squad. But the circumstances are the circumstances. Always I told in the last four years, the circumstances, we cannot... Uh, assess teams, clubs, uh, uh, out of context, uh, in general. We cannot talk, talk in, in general. We need to talk with all the circumstances. And the circumstances of the club are some circumstances that you need to put inside when you are going to give your opinion. Um, in our circumstance, it's so difficult to uh, find player or add player that can improve us. And, and of course, I am happy with the squad that we have. I am so happy with the younger. I think uh, we won the ICC tournament, international tournament. Yes, of course that I laugh a little bit when you say, oh, yeah, you win again. Okay, yes, but we play with a midfielder uh, with 17, 18, 19. And uh, why not uh, to give the possibility um, and to trust in them? Maybe not now, but maybe in a few months, maybe uh, to prepare them for the next season and will be so important. Uh, rather, maybe to sign player that came here with uh, big motivation, but if they don't achieve what they want, it's a big disappointment. And on the end, um, um, I promise you, um, I love uh, in the way that the younger were uh, behave in America. Uh, the motivation and the excitement to, to be one day uh, a player from, on, on the first team. And, and I think we have very good squad. The, the senior players are top quality. I think they show in the World Cup or they show last season. It's only be happy all together, uh, still improving because we have more experience now and, and try and try. And I am so excited. And, and maybe it's the year that. I feel more, more excited and more proud uh, in the, I think we start to work two months now uh, ago. I think it's the year that I feel more, with more energy.